heads lifted by helium balloons. A Calgary man flew upward into the sky last night on a chair. It was incredible. It was the most surreal experience I've ever, I've ever imagined. I, I was just by myself on a $20 lawn chair up in the sky above the clouds. He soared for about an hour, covering more than 10 kilometers. The chair was shaking and I was looking down at my feet dangling through the clouds and at, a, at a 747 flight taking off or just and a few landing. Like I saw a WestJet flight go right below me at one point. He was aiming for the stampede, hoping to draw attention to his company. His flight landed him off mark in a green space about a kilometer away and also into trouble. Today, Daniel Boria faces a charge of mischief causing danger to life. When you're taking people's safety into account, especially when you're talking about the stampede uh, and the hundreds of thousands of people who are on the grounds any given day, that's not something that, they, uh, that any justice will take lightly at all. Police say he could face more charges for endangering other flights and flying across the city. <laughs> Others who've pulled the stunt in the U.S. flew over fields and shot down their balloons. Boria instead abandoned his chair and parachuted. Police call it reckless and say he could be fined. No, I think he'll end up uh, out of pocket quite a bit. Probably would have been cheaper to get a billboard. It's, it's, it's disappointing that they're pursuing it that heavily. Um, when we, I, I, I thought it was quite creative. Boria spent upwards of $20,000 on the stunt. And he says it was worth it. Boria will appear in court next week. Kata Dak, CBC News, Calgary.